No. WFXR Sports. Ah, uh, yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell. Hoping your day is wonderful and blessed. Time now for the latest in sports news. We're gearing you up for the 2023 high school football season with our latest Hardy's Friday Night Blitz preview. On our next stop on the tour is to Bedford and Liberty High School. Minuteman alum Daryl Robertson enters his second season leading Liberty. Now, last season, the Minutemen went 0-10, extending their losing streak to 17 games. New for Liberty in 2023, a change in classification as they are dropping from Class 3 to Class 2 and will be in Region C. Robinson says through the offseason, the team is investing time to changing the culture to bring a winning attitude to the program. Some guys have, have brought in and they've decided that, that we want to see success. We want to learn and we want to feel success. Some guys um, have been with me. That was, last year was their first year playing football. Some guys have been been down for the ride the whole time and success is what we're searching for. I feel like we don't necessarily need to wipe last season slate clear because we need to remember that and we, we need to build off that. So I feel like us showing up every day, continuing to work is helping us build for the next season. I feel like we just want to get better. We want to um, have everyone contribute more and just come together more as a team and have more chemistry. Now Liberty opens up the season on August 25th at William Byrd. Tonight at 10, we preview Liberty Christian. And if you missed any of the team previews we have aired so far, check out the Hardy's Friday Night Blitz page on our website, WFSRTV.com. Also inside the stories are the full team interviews. And we're doubling your pleasure with our annual Hardy's Friday Night Blitz preview special. It airs this Friday with two chances to check it out. You can catch it at 530 and 10 right here on WFXR. And that's sports. Now for one final look at the forecast, here's our chief meteorologist, Patrick McKee.